This is amazing. Now we are going to see about fire crawl. This will help you to turn any website into LLM ready data. At the end, we will use the fire crawl as the tool and integrate that with AI agents to get more detailed answers like this. So when you do manual scraping or manual crawling, you add the required URLs manually. You use custom tools such as Beautiful Soup or Puppeteer. Then you need to define what element in a page need to be scraped. Then you extract useful information from that and you can crawl one URL at a time. But using AI agents and file crawl, you can auto search URLs. You can use custom modules such as usearch, DuckDuckGo and much more. Then you can auto crawl using file crawl. The file crawl can scrape useful information. Then AI agents can automatically summarize and it can even automatically go through multiple URLs. In this first, I will show you how you can install file crawl locally, then integrate that with AI agents and finally automate the process of crawling, searching and summarizing. In this, we are going to use tools such as u.com, file crawl, then use grok for large language model then integrate the firecrawl or u.com tool using Langchain and also show how you can use Llama index in this mix. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about firecrawl. It is used to crawl or scrape a website. So when you provide the website, it can go through individual URLs, get all the relevant content. So why we need to scrape content? So considering you have permission to scrape and also it's your own website, it might have large amount of data, but it might not have any API to understand information. LLMs generally understand structured data. So how can you convert the unstructured data to structured data to make it LLM ready? That's when we have fire crawl. It can automatically convert the unstructured data into a structured data and it will give to the large language model to process it. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can automatically search URLs, auto crawl using fire crawl, auto scrape, auto summarize, and much more. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. By default, fire crawl provides a service where you can use directly their own server to crawl sites. But in our instance, we are going to self host fire crawl. As a requirement, you might need to install Docker on your computer. So first step, git clone github.com slash and then provide this URL and then click enter. Now navigate to the fire crawl folder. After this, just export use db authentication equals false because we are not going to set up any API key. Just use this and then type enter. Now type docker compose up hyphen d and then click enter. This will automatically download all the required containers and you can just Double check by typing docker ps and then click enter. Here you can see the fire crawl is running and is running in localhost 3002. So to test this, just type curl hyphen x get and the localhost 3002 slash test and then click enter. Now you can see the response is hello world. This means the fire crawl is running locally on your computer. Now we are ready to integrate that with our application. To install the Python package, we are going to pip install Prison AI UI firecrawl py langchain community and then click enter. Using langchain community, we are going to install u.com. Using firecrawl py, we are able to integrate firecrawl in our application. Next, we are going to create a file called tools.py, touch tools.py. That's where you integrate firecrawl and u.com. The easy way to integrate any Python package such as firecrawl into AI agents, you just copy this instruction then you can come to this Prison AI Tools Creator GPT. I'll put all the information in the description below. Here, just paste that information, what you just copied. And you mentioned goal is to scrape with the provided URL and click enter. Now this will automatically create all the steps required. For example, firecrawl py that we've already done. And here is the tools.py. We just need to copy this and paste it in our tools.py file. And here it's giving an example on how we can use that an agents.yaml file. So in this case, it's directly using API key, which is directly from their own server, but we might need to modify this to crawl it from locally on our computer. Similarly, we need to integrate u.com to search. If you want to integrate llama index for the same fire crawl, you can just copy the instruction. That is the code. I'm going to use single page crawl. 
rather than the whole site crawl. So copying the code, pasting it here and click enter. This is the Prezen AI tools creator and you got the tool code here. So first in this, we need to search about a topic that could be the latest AI news, then extract information and finally summarize. To search about a topic, we are using u.com. So it will automatically search for all the relevant information and provide the list of URLs to the next agent to extract information. And the next agent will extract all the information that is crawling using fire crawl and send that information to the last agent and the last agent will summarize it. Same as we did for fire crawl, you got u.com. We are going to use Langchain for that. So you got all this information here. So you can just copy this information. I'm using U search API wrapper, then go to Prezen AI tools creator and then just type this. Now it's automatically generating the code required. That is the tool, how you can integrate. So I'm just going to copy this. So this is how our file tools.py will look like. So we've got the U search tool with U search API wrapper and I'm returning only two URLs. I can even increase this to 10, but just to keep this simple, two URLs, max results, two. That's it. Next, fire crawl. Here I'm adding the API URL as localhost 3002. API key, just a fake key. I'm just making fake key because we're not using any API key. And in the content, I'm just removing all irrelevant information, such as the menu items and similar patterns. I remove all URLs, removing empty lines, and finally limit the first 300 words. Just because our context length is low, I'm just using this. And then our tool is ready with both web page scrape tool and the new search tool. Now we are going to integrate this in agents.yaml file. Here we are exporting four different things. One is OpenAI model name, that is Llama 370 billion, which means we are using Grok. So I'm changing the endpoint to Grok own endpoint, providing the API key, that is Grok's API key, then u.com API key, which you can generate from u.com and providing that here for searching the internet. Now just present AI hyphen hyphen init, first search, then scrape and finally summarize latest AI news and then click enter. That will automatically create this agents.yaml file with all the different agents, such as the researcher agent going to search, new scraper agent going to scrape the website, and finally AI news summarizer to summarize. So here we are going to add the tool. First is the use search tool. So you search tool, then the new scraper will have the web page scraper tool. That is the fire crawl tool. That's it. Now I'm going to initialize the user interface by typing present AI UI and then click enter. And here is the user interface. Here I'm going to run it manually. Click manual and then you can see all the information that is the YAML file which we have just modified and also the tools.py file with both tools here. Now I'm going to click run. On the back end you can see it's using AI News Researcher to get URLs using u.com. Then that is passed to the AI News Scraper who is scraping the content of the URLs provided. This is using fire crawl. And finally, here is the task output with all the information about AI news, which is using u.com and fire crawl. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.